Hey everyone, hi and welcome on in. Good morning, my name is Annika and I am so glad to be here. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you're watching this right now in live, it is Wednesday morning. Um, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm live both on YouTube and on Behance. And if you didn't see the little call to action here, go ahead and subscribe to that YouTube channel. Thank you again for being here. I'm going to start with some tunes. Uh, let me turn on some music in the background. Let me know if you can hear it. Thanks so much again. Um, I'm going to say hi to the chat before I get started. Today, if you're just joining us, it's very exciting because I'm a small business owner and I know that a lot of small business owners out there struggle with putting their content out because there's so much to do. I understand, but we appreciate all you're doing. Always shop small. So for here today, I'm going to help you to market your business by creating a carousel ad for Instagram only in Adobe Express. So before we get started, I want to say hi to everyone in chat. Let me go ahead, look at chat, and then I'm going to say hi and uh, make a logo and we're going to do all the branding and everything. Let's go ahead and say hi. Um, I see Cody, Oliver, Sean, Gareth, Frank. Hi, welcome on in everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Salut, Frank. Um, thanks a lot. All right, um, let's dive into it. Let's see what we have in store for you. So this is Adobe Express. If you have never used Adobe Express, I um, just want to say that it's the best tool ever for social media. I am a professional graphic designer, but I still use it for all the social media that I create just because it's so quick and easy. But before I create a carousel ad, I actually want to go ahead and create a logo. So I'm going to go ahead to this plus button and create a new logo. And here we have a new custom palette, which is logo. I'm going to click on that and that's going to open up um, a canvas and we can start making up a logo. I see there are businesses here. Um, let's actually look for a restaurant. And before we get started, I want to introduce what um, business we have. So we have this guy. I'm actually going to bring it over here in this tab. And so we have um, the business. So we have the business right here. This is essentially, I'm going to put it on the side here so you guys can see. So we have Roots, which is the Indian restaurant. I don't know if you can actually see it. Let me zoom in a little. So Roots is the Indian restaurant that we're working with and it's the it's homemade food and authentic and I want to make um, these are all the services that we may offer but I want to make a carousel ad for it. So let's start by adding a logo for it. So I'm going to say restaurant right over here and see what comes up. I'm actually going to size it down just like so and bring it back up. Okay, so with restaurant, let's see what comes up. Mm, I kind of like all of these. Oh, this is a fun one with like a root logo and like roots. So maybe I could use that. Maybe I planned it this way. Um, let's actually go ahead and use this one. Okay. Um, and then, and these are all presets within Adobe Express. And as you can see, these are all free assets. So I don't really need to do anything. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and replace this text with my logo design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy. If you double click any of the text here, you can go ahead and change. It's only going to redirect you right over here. So I'm going to bring this up just like so. And then I'm going to bring this up just like so. Like roots. I'm actually going to copy paste this right over here. And that's it. And now I can just erase the E from here. And that's going to help me fix everything. So I can just click on the layers panel right over here. And then I can hit delete on my keyboard. And that's going to help me fix everything. Now it says roots. I think the alignment is kind of off. So I can fix that. And it says vegan restaurant. Well, most of Indian food is vegan, but there are some things that can be not vegan. So maybe I just write Indian restaurant. And it's fine even if it's this because I have selected magic text right over here. So it's changing everything to auto capitalize, which is totally fine. Um, I know that a lot of Indian food also uses garlic as like one of the ingredients as a base. So let's actually replace this root with a garlic root. So I'm going to click on replace shape here. And then I'm going to write in garlic and see what comes up. Okay, these are very fun shapes, um, but I want something simple. And these are all from the NAND project. If you have um, Adobe Express, you can use these for free. And so I'm going to choose uh, perhaps this one. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Ooh, that's a fun one. I do like the shape of this and it kind of like makes the negative shape really, really fun. And I can change it to be inverse. So if this is yellow on black on yellow i can change it to be a different logo to make a brand in adobe express so why don't we go ahead and change like the colors of this but for that i need another variation of this which means i need to create a duplicate page so if i click on duplicate page 
with the multiple pages feature oh i don't know what happened there but let's fix that let's make this white and there you go and we have this right here and this is just a duplicate of that version right so i'm gonna inverse the colors now just so that we have two variations because i feel like whenever i'm making like an ad i can just um use two logos and like the next page for an, as an example i'm going to show you the ad that i created for my business in just a second let me switch the colors up really really quickly um okay so i have the current color palette it's going to show me adobe express shows me what all colors are existing in this canvas so i can just go ahead and use those colors let's go ahead and add one more and then this one was this color okay so this is these are the two color variations that i just created roots and roots right um now this is essentially my logo design that i'm going to use really quick and easy it's only been 5 minutes since i started creating this but this uh, the idea is to help you and enable you with an already existing logo and then make a social asset to promote your business right it's 2023 i feel like a lot of us offer our services but don't actually know how to sell them so why don't we go ahead since this is a white background over here and here as well I can simply go ahead and download a transparent PNG by clicking on the download button right here and then I will click on all pages and then I can click on PNG transparent background which is right above me here um and then I can hit start download and that is going to help me download this so it's right here if I click this it's going to open my um tab I'm going to size this down just like so so you can actually see um my downloads window so this is my downloads window and this is what was downloaded right now and this has both of my logo designs that i just created so this is one and this is two and now we can go ahead and add these to my um carousel ad so so that we don't waste a lot of time i have actually gone ahead and gave myself a kickstart by adding a background image to this um this is essentially to view this button right over here is essentially to view all the pages if i click on it i see there's only one page but in a carousel ad you actually have multiple pages and you swipe through right so a carousel ad essentially looks like this this is my profile and this is what i made for my business and if i swipe through over here on the right arrow it shows me all the services that i create now the important thing here is that i was thinking about was having a call to action on every page knowing what the keywords are and what kind of content or service you're offering so this is a free 30 minute consultation so i decided to make like a color here this is my website and i'm just saying there's no rush we can talk about it let's talk video and let's go live so all of these are just ways to grab attention and all this negative space out here is just pointing to all the content that i really want the readers to read first with that in mind i'm going to go ahead and add um some titles here and then i'm going to add a logo but before we do that i'm going to create a brand really quickly with creating a brand you can essentially apply that brand to any of your posts and that is going to make your life super easy so i'm going to go ahead and create a brand super easy and quick um just so that we can jump into creating the carousel okay so i'm going to upload my logo um upload logo i'm going to go to downloads and this is the one i open and um you already see how it's going to look like on branded ads and it looks pretty pretty cool um i'm going to look at chat just to make sure that if you have any questions you can put them in chat and i'm taking a look at chat right now to see if i missed anything doesn't seem like i missed anything all right love it okay so then we have pick your color and right over here i didn't even put any colors adobe express chat just fetched it automatically from my logo so i'm going to use this as my default because black or like or not quite black i can make myself and then i'm going to choose a font for the font i think i'm going to use this one which is dark mode um actually just, let's just go with the default for now let's just go with the later bold okay and um then i'm going to click next and then i'm going to call it roots and if i click on create brand that's going to create my brand super quickly bruce in the chat says great multi purpose post anika thank you yeah i feel like this is like a really cool way to actually do this um by telling people how they can reach out to you because someone may be looking at your profile for long but do not know what kind of services you offer until you actually explicitly tell them so i think that's super cool i think there was a bug here that's why i didn't actually let me save um let's go ahead and try that again create my brand um let's see hang tight oh okay let's refresh and see what happens 
Um, that's fine. That happens. Okay. I'm going to do that over. It is doing it. Okay. The color is here. And then I'm going to click next again. Call it roots and click on create my brand. While that is working, I am going to go back to here and then I'm going to make Indian food the title. So I'm just going to say Indian food here. Um, and then maybe I want to bring the subheading a little bit down. And um, the post is going to be all about how to order Indian food. So the call to action here would be how to order or like the website, which I'm going to add somewhere here. So I'm just going to say how to order right here. It's not the call to action, but it's what I want people to do. So I'm going to go ahead and write this. And this script text is going to help me emphasize what I really want and what the brand is about. And since I really want to emphasize on the fact that this is homemade and authentic, I'm going to bring this up. It is authentic and homemade, fresh, local, um, at your doorstep, low effort. So what I want to do is add that here. So I'm going to write authentic and homemade really quickly. And this is what we have. Um, I'm going to expand this just like so. And then I'm going to align it so that it fits. Now, maybe I do want this to have like color from the logo design. I'm actually going to check if it fixed. Okay. So we have our brand set up and now I can go ahead and add this brand right over here. Before I do that, I can also add more logos to my design. So I'm going to click that and click on the plus button. Here you can add variations of your logo, which is super fun because if you're working with a brand, you know that there is a black and white monochrome version. There's a color variation. There can be more than one colors for the brand. So you can put all of those variations right over here in this plus tab. I'm going to click OK and um, it's going to add that secondary logo right here. So we have this, um, it was so similar. I've kind of thought that I put in the wrong one for a second. Um, all right, so we have these two logos, the yellow and the black. And we can also make black and white, white on black, all of that, but that's secondary. But I'm gonna go in here and go to my brand tab really quickly. I'm gonna go to logos actually. Um, let's see, we have um, design. So I'm gonna select the brand from here on these I'm going to click on switch brand and then I'm going to select the brand that I just created, which was roots. So I'm going to click on switch brand and it's going to switch everything up. And now we have all of this and we can apply the brand. If I apply the brand right here, this might change. So I'm going to show you that. But since I just selected a default, I am not going to keep the font that I had. OK, so I'm going to just select this what we have just to make sure that we have everything. So I'm going to go to design again, click on shuffle and it's going to apply the brand. There you go. So here's the logo that we got from the brand tab and it's just shuffling the colors that we have in here. So I think that looks pretty cool. Although I don't like the typeface that this is using. I do want to undo a bunch of times just because I want to keep the typeface and I don't have time to fix it right now. So another way to apply your logo would be going into the logos panel on the Nef navigation pan pane and then I can just click and drag it out or just click it and that's going to make it. So I'm going to bring this right here and maybe align it something like so. And then I can just say over here uh, something like to your doorstep and um, expand this just like so. And we have uh, some stuff going on. We have our first page. I think this looks pretty cool. And these are all the services that we are offering. So I'm going to put this on the side, but I'm going to make a copy. I'm just option clicking and dragging it out. And our um, website link is right over here. It's called roots.ca slash order. So I'm going to double click into this and you see that this is auto selected by Adobe Express. I'm just hitting command V or control V on your keyboard. And that's giving me this information. I'm going to align it to the bottom until like the logo. And I think I think this kind of looks nice. Everything is left aligned. Um, I think this looks pretty cool. This is going to delete itself. So I'm going to hit command X. And this is our first page. So now that I have your attention, now I want you to know why and what I offer and how you can order it. So I'm going to hit the plus button right here. It's going to add a page. But if I want to duplicate it, I can select this button and I want to duplicate it just because I want the text on my second page as well. So let's duplicate and create a second page to create what I really offer. So I'm going to remove this background um, and everything's not going to be visible for just a second, but we're going to fix that. Um, I'm going to add a shape in the background just so the text is legible for you all. And let's make the color to be black, black for now. And then I'm going to bring the shape behind everything so you can actually see what's happening. Um, what is this? Where's the Indian food text? That's weird. Oh, I think I deleted that, did I? 
Okay, no worries. So this is what we have and this is what I want to use to create my second page, which is going to tell me what services I offer. So I'm going to go back to my services and it says fresh local delivery. Before I do all of that, I think I want to add images to all my pages. So let's go ahead and add a few pages. Um, same as this page, same as this page. I'm going to add like five. And then I'm going to go back right here to my second page. And maybe I'll just make this shape like so. I'm going to actually delete all of this. I can add this later. Um, let's delete this. Let's delete this. I'm just making um, rectangle shapes. So this is basically me laying out a framework. So I know where everything is going. So maybe I want something like this. And this is going to be my image right here. And um, this is what I'm, I'm going to have. And there's going to be text here, here, um, call to action right here. So maybe I'll just keep this like so for now. And um, let's see what the second service is uh, right over here. It says cooking classes. So I'm going to hit command C on my keyboard and go to the next page. And then I'm going to hit command V and it's going to paste it in the same place right here. But I want to size it down. Maybe I want to add some variation to my design. So maybe I'll add like three images. Maybe size, size it down like so and then drag out a copy. Um, maybe drag out another copy and um, put it to the side. And then I'm going to bring it up just like so. Okay, and then I can even bring it down just like so as well. Um, love it. I'm just looking at chat and seeing if there are any questions. Love it. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead to the next page and then add another copy as well. Um, these handles will let you right over here. These little handles will let you resize the rectangle or the shape that you have. And that's super handy because I can essentially do this infinitely like how much ever I want which comes in really, really handy. So this is where my images are going to go. This is not the actual design. I'm just laying out a design that I can use right now. And this, this just replace these with um, images at the end. Okay, so we have this and then I'm going to bring it up like so. All right, and then I'm going to bring it back up. And now I can start by adding some text. Before I do that, I want to add a logo to every design. So let's click on this guy and that's going to bring it, bring it here. And then I'm going to apply it to every page that I have. Just because I set up the brand, it was super easy for me to add a logo everywhere. And I didn't even need to do anything. Um, love that. Now I'm going to click on this Indian food um, text and I'm going to place it right here. Um, and then I'm going to change it to um, my first uh, service, which was fresh local food. So I'm going to say fresh, not I fresh, but fresh. And um, then I'm going to bring it here. I can change the color from this and this says roots because that's my brand that is applied to this. So it's just giving me that color palette. We have fresh right here and love it. Bruce says, and that's shapes, Anika. Yes, this is from the shapes panel. So this is from the basic shapes and I just use a rectangle from right here. So if I click on this, these are the handles that I was talking about. Um, thank you for asking, Bruce. I'm glad you are paying attention to class. <laughs> All right. And then I want to bring like a... a website link right here as well so i'm going to copy this and paste it here now it's pasting here but it's invisible because it's also white so i can go ahead and click on black and here we have um a link and then i also want to say what the food is about so maybe i want to actually i want this guy and then i'm going to bring it here um and let's see my notes again it says order okay so we are ordering food i'm going to click on order and then maybe i want to change the color to black and bring it up top on the side. Okay, I think this is looking nice. I think this is looking nice. Maybe I want to add like another shape. Maybe I want to add like order here. Um, maybe from a design asset. Let's see. Oh, it's it's taking. Um, let's see. Do I like I like this one. Let's add this one. So I just use a design asset that is essentially like an icon that I can use to emphasize the fact that this is an order. And I'm just placing it right over here so you guys can see. And then I can um, change the color. Maybe I want it something like so. And then I can align it to the center. And I am going to replace it with a photo. So let's actually look for Indian, Indian food. Um, this is essentially looking up photos from Adobe Stock. So um, let's pick this one just because um, we are short on time. So I am going to expand this just like so. And we can also crop it. Um, but I'm going to place this right over here. Maybe I want to make it just like so. And now I can go ahead and delete the rectangle shape that I created. So I can go ahead to my layers panel and click on the rectangle and hit delete. 
and that is going to delete the rectangle now it doesn't exist but this is a simple way of actually um using your layout to your advantage and you don't have to care about how much time it's going to take to set it up once you have things set up it's super easy to actually bring it up and um fix that okay now we have this guy and then it says um local delivery so i'm going to change the text right here local delivery super quick and then i'm going to align it to the right and voila and then maybe I want to make a copy of this so I can go ahead and click on this button right here. It's going to duplicate your text and we have something right over here. I'm going to go to my text edit um, and really see what it says. It says freshly cooked and delivered hot, um, served hot. So I'm going to place this here and this is your first page. So just like so, you can actually work on your carousel post and start building it up. We have five more minutes to go. So I'm going to try to make something really quickly. Now that I have stuff set up, I can essentially just copy paste this, all of this text. Um, let's actually select this, 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 this text right over here. And I think I already have that on this page, don't I? Oh no, I don't. Um, so I'm going to have to select everything. Give me a second. I'm going to hit command C and then I'm going to hit command B. And now I have stuff already set up. So what I want to do is essentially add images here, but I'm going to go ahead and change my text. This is for the cooking classes. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly change all of this text. And it's just going to say classes right over here. And then I can change the text. Um, just for funsies, maybe I can add like a shape here or like a design asset, say like a delivery truck or something. Um, let's go to delivery, like a shape. Um, oh, these are, oh, this is a fun one. Okay, let's see. And then I can change the color to the current palette, maybe size it down just like so. So it's all about like adding variation to your design and seeing what really fits your brand. Um, now this may be a little bit displaced, so maybe I want to bring it up like so. I really like this actually. I really do. Okay. And then um, let's do this really, really quickly. We have like less than four minutes. And then I'm going to go here and um, go to text, text edit and go to focus on fundamental techniques. And then I'm going to go here and paste my text. And maybe I want to size it down just a little bit. Um, paste it like so. And we have this text. Um, I can bring this here again, paste it, and then I can bring it back. Now, this is like one simple way to actually do this. I'm going to go back to my projects and show you what I actually made before I started the live stream. I can replace these images really quickly. So I'm going to go to photos and go to cooking um, and see what comes up. Um, let's try really, really quickly what comes up. Um, I'm trying to use free assets. So anything with a crown is a paid asset or a premium asset. You won't be able to access it if you are not on the premium version. So let's actually use a free asset. I'm going to click on crop shape and really bring this in like so. Click on the tick icon and we have something right here. And this is also a free asset. So let's bring this up. I am going to size it up just a little bit and then I'm going to crop it again bring it like so and then I can move the image like so and let's bring in a third one super quickly how much time do we have we have four minutes okay 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 we're good <laughs> uh, and then let's just bring this one okay because it looks nice and then I can size it up and then I can crop it down again so this is how easy it is to make a carousel post for yourself um, if you are a small business because I feel like a lot of us don't actually we are just intimidated by the fact that um, it's difficult, but essentially with Adobe Express, it's super easy to do. Um, now, this is a little bit not the right size right now because I'm doing it in a hurry. But let me show you what I created when I was starting this project and what the final project will look like once you keep on working with it now. Let's cooking show this, okay? Um, so we have this. This is how your carousel ad will look like if you work on it for another 30 minutes. And um, these are all the pages that I have, page one, page two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to go back and show you how that looks. So we just created this. This was page one. Page two um, is loading, which is fresh local delivery. Then we have page three right over here, cooking classes, looks like this. Then we have um, something like so, which is easy meal kits because we at Roots provide you easy meal kits so that you don't have to grocery shop. And we also have weekly recipes. 
and we also have our last page which is gift bags and at the end you can write something like hey if you would like to order please come to us and order from us with that said thank you so much for joining me i am anika signing off this was a very fun adobe express stream join me tomorrow again for refreshing your instagram feed and making content for your tiktok account it was a pleasure having you all in chat if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below if you're watching this on replay thank you so much for watching this live or on replay and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks so much i wish you a happy wednesday there's more adobe live programming coming up so stay tuned stick around for all the fun and the creative challenges thanks and bye for now